What's up guys, so a few years ago, I set up an umbral full node on a Raspberry Pi just out in my living room. And as time goes on, you know, you get new devices, hardware components of the umbral start to fail. Basically a bunch of stuff can go wrong. And so this video is gonna be one video in a series of videos that's going to be me showing you how I've troubleshooted the issues that I've had with my umbral. The first issue that I've run into here is I'm on a new computer that I got just a couple months ago. And when I type in umbral.local here in my browser, nothing happens, right? It's doing a Bing search for umbral.local. It's not taking me to my actual umbral instance. So how do we solve this problem? We're going to set a static IP address for our umbral server. Now this post here I'll have linked down in the description and it's apparently helped a lot of people but I can't really read. I'm like really bad at like paying attention to like details like this and I started trying to do it myself and it was like enter your router configuration, find DNS or DHCP server. I don't know what the any of that means and so basically what I did was I highlighted all of this, the whole post, I copied it, I went over to chat GPT here, and I told it to read these instructions and to respond Roger Roger if it understands the instructions. So now it understands the instructions, and then I asked it if I'm trying to get a fixed IP address for my umbral, but I don't know what a DNS or a DHCP server are, and I have a Comcast router, what would I do? And if you had not a Comcast router, if you had some sort of other router, you could actually put in your specific router information here, and ChatGPT would hopefully be able to give you some guidance on what to do here. So it's telling me that specifically for a Comcast router, I need to go to 10.0.0.1, which is really helpful because of course, if we come back into this post on Umbral community forum, it's not telling you what to do specifically for an Xfinity router. And so ChatGPT was able to sort of bridge that gap for me. And so now if I do go ahead and go to 10.0.0.1, we can see that it's taken me to the default Xfinity login page, but I don't know the username and I don't know the password. And so if we head back to ChatGPT, the next question I asked it was, I don't know the username and password of the router. And then I showed it what information was available on the bottom of my router. This is not the actual information because I was afraid of putting the actual information into ChatGPT because obviously I want my security to be good and I don't wanna to have to edit this out for the video. And so you can go ahead and give it dummy names basically for network name and my password and pin and stuff like that. And basically what ChatGPT told me is if I haven't messed with the default username or password of my Comcast Xfinity router, that I could log in with the username admin and the password of just password. So not even any information that was available on my router, this would have taken me a ton of time to go find around Google and kind of figure out like, you know, how the f do I even log into my own router? Once I logged in for the first time, I was able to change the password and update it to something that I would remember and then add this login to my 1Password password manager so that I'll never forget this login going forward. And so now that I've changed this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on login. So here is basically the internals of my router. I'm gonna go ahead and blur out all of the sensitive information that's on this screen, but something that hopefully you'll still be able to see is under connected devices here on the right, you can see my umbral full node is connected as a device on this Wi-Fi, And so I can go ahead and click on view connected devices. It's important to note that if you're not using Xfinity for your router, you may be using some other router, your screen is going to look definitely different than mine. And if you do get lost at any point within your router's process, you can go back to ChatGPT and just ask it, say, hey, I have, you know, whatever router you have, I'm getting lost once I've logged in can you please point me to the right steps and it should be able to tell you where to go. So now once you found your umbral, by default, it's gonna be a DHCP, but if you come in here to edit and click on this edit button, you'll see that you'll be able to give it a reserved IP address, which is what you wanna do. So you'll click on reserved IP here and then change the reserved IP address to, in this case, I've changed it to 10.0.0.142. And if I go ahead and click on save, this is going to update the permanent IP address or a fixed IP address of our umbral full node. So now that I've gone ahead and set this reserved IP address, I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then just open a new tab and paste it here because if I don't copy and paste it, I will probably forget the numbers. So now you can see that we have access to our umbrals, but what we really want, it would be kind of nice if we could just type in umbral.local again and get back to this 10.0.0.142 address. So the next thing that I asked ChatGPT was, I'm using a Mac, I set the static IP address to whatever you set the static IP address to, can you tell me how to redirect umbral.local in my browser to this static IP address that I just set? And so it's telling me that if I'm using a Mac, I should go ahead and open up a terminal and then I should type in sudo nano etc hosts. I should type in the password to my computer and then I should use the arrow keys to navigate to the bottom of the file and I should add this new 
address. Mine was actually 142. And I'm going to do, I'm actually going to copy this just straight from ChatGPT so that I don't mess it up. So I'll just delete this, paste, and then come back here and change the number. And so then I'm going to hit Command X for exit and yes to save and then just enter to complete and so now it's saying i need to flush the dns cache by typing the following command so i'll say sudo ds cache and i'm actually just going to copy this again so that i don't mess it up back here delete everything paste enter all right so now if we come back to the browser and we type in umbral.local oh it still didn't work what the f maybe if i open a new safari window so umbral.local And that worked. So let's see now if I close all of my Brave windows. All right, so I have opened a new Brave window. And now if I type in umbral.local, success. So once you've cleared your DNS cache there, don't freak out and curse at the camera. All you have to do is close your current web browsing session and then reopen it and it should take you to umbral.local. So hopefully this has been helpful for you guys. This was definitely super interesting to me. I think forum posts like this are really helpful and this guy obviously put in a ton of work to help a lot of people. So this, you know, not trying to like on this forum post at all, but it is obviously very difficult and like not possible for this guy to show you every single router configuration and to hold your hands through like every different configuration that you could possibly have, which is why loading forum posts like this into chat GPT so that chat GPT understands, you know, the broader situation and can give you advice on how to log into your Xfinity Comcast router or whatever the router it is that you have. And if you have specific questions and if you get stuck at specific steps along the way, once you've seeded chat GPT, with the forum post answer, it's going to be a lot better at telling you how to actually solve your problem. And then obviously now that we're back on Umbral, we can just log in as normal and see all of our stuff here. So hopefully that was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it demystified this whole process a little bit. I will have more Umbral tutorial videos coming out in the future. So definitely let me know down in the comments. This is actually one that I'm going to be doing is how to replace your micro SD card. That video might actually come out before this one. It seems like every year or so that you have an Umbral running, the micro SD card is just going to the bed. So again, Umbral, very cool software, really cool stuff, but Raspberry Pis are not really meant to last for like 10 plus years. They're they're not super, you know, reliable devices, especially when they're running on, you know, little micro SD cards. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other tutorials you want to see me make, or if you got stuck at any point. I think this was a really cool use of ChatGPT. So if you haven't tried ChatGPT for some reason, definitely check it out. Uh, it's definitely not perfect, but it does really help in situations like this. That's it for today, guys. I love you all. See you next week.